Hi and welcome back to my channel. To kick off my weekly uploads I'm going to be sharing the settings that I use each and every time I shoot photos or videos using my GoPro. I've seen a lot of people just take their GoPros out of the box and press record. Now this is fine to do if you don't plan on doing much with your photos or your videos afterwards but you could make your content look a lot better if you spend a bit of time editing it afterwards. When it comes to the photo and the video settings they are mostly the same but they do differ slightly. So first off I will show you the settings I use for photos and if you follow along then this this will help maximize your photos ready to edit in Photoshop for which I will be doing a separate video on. So the very first thing I do is enable ProTune so in the middle of the screen on the right you'll see a line if you pull it to the left then that's where you can enable ProTune so if you push it once that's now enabled and it will bring up a load of options where you can choose your settings. The other thing I also do from this screen is I enable RAW. So the very first thing you'll see is colour. I always shoot in flat but you can choose GoPro colour if you want but I tend to find that this is quite oversaturated and quite unrealistic for, for the look that I want so I always choose flat. White balance I always have mine set to 6000 Kelvin and that's across any camera that I use. ISO I always set the minimum to 100 and the maximum to 200. Shutter I usually leave alone. Exposure value I always put at minus 5. Doing this will save your highlights especially outdoors on really bright days. Sharpness I have set to high as I have found that if you set it to low or medium and then add sharpness in post it looks awful. If you leave it set to high then if you want to add any sharpness in post only add small amounts. Then if you swipe it down from the top then it brings you back to the main screen. When it comes to the field of view settings on the GoPro you now have the option of removing the fisheye look from your photos. I personally prefer the fisheye look so I leave it set to field of view wide but if you want to remove the fisheye look then set it to linear. Here is a few photos I took using my GoPro. Next up is the settings that I use for video. Same as for photos, make sure ProTune is enabled. Again, for ProTune settings on the whole, I leave these alone once they have been set. There are only a couple of things I change. First up is colour. Same reason as my photos, I shoot in flat mode. White balance, I have mine set to 6000 Kelvin. Whichever camera I use, I always have it set to 6000. This is so that wherever you are, in shadow areas, inside, outside, the white balance never changes so it stays constant and then it's easier to colour grade in post. ISO, I have set to 400. Shutter, I always leave it on auto. Exposure, I always have it set to minus 0.5 or minus 1. Doing this will save your highlights, especially outdoors on really bright days. Now for video, my sharpness I will set to either medium or low as I add sharpness in post. Audio I keep mine on off as I never use the audio from GoPro. I rarely shoot anything in 4K. This is because my computer hates handling 4K footage. Instead I mostly shoot in 1080 and either 90 frames per second or 60 frames per second and very rarely 24 frames per second. This is because I always like to add a little slow motion to help achieve a more cinematic look. The same as with the photos you actually have the option of removing the fisheye look if you don't like it. Here you just need to enable linear. Here is a few video clips I took using the GoPro using these settings. So if you made it this far, thanks for staying with me. To those already subscribed, I will see you next time. And to those who aren't, do it already. <laughs> Hopefully see some of you in the next video.
Laters.